Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd have a little bit of a change and look at a cross-platform accessory, namely the Seiko SmartPad. Um, so this is a very nice folio case and as you can see it comes with a pad of paper, a pen and a velcro patch to attach your PDA. This works with either Palm or Windows CE and we're going to look at both today. Um, underneath here is a Wicom tablet um, to allow you to control things. Um, let's get into it and I'll show you how it works. So here it is, the Seiko Smart Pad. So a very smart folio case. It's got a pocket round at the back, a zip that runs all the way around. And when we open it up, on this side we've got the Wicom tablet with a standard A5 refill. We've got the pen in its slot. This is a Wicom pen. It's not pressure sensitive. It's a single pressure. Um, and when you put the cap on the back, it acts like a stylus. So that's good. Just goes in there. On this side, we've got the Velcro pad. This is just so you can attach your PDA and it stays secure. There's an infrared port at the top, which allows you to um, beam the information to the PDA. This can be repositioned to point from the side. There's a couple of slots here. These can be pens or for spare batteries. Another one at the bottom and a little pouch. And actually in the pouch, um, I've still got, with this one I bought, um, these original pen refills, so that's handy. In addition, with this particular one, I received the quick start guide for the Pocket PC. I'll pop that open there. You can always pause the video if you want to have a better look and see what that's all about. And then the version of it for the Palm. So, quick start guide, batteries, pen, syncing with the desktop, and using the smart keypad and then blah blah and then it turns into another language all very exciting i know and it also came with this which is the padfire software i've not been able to use this it is for using email with um, on your palm uh, i've got no use for that at the moment but there we are it does come with it so next up we need some batteries so the Wicom tablet itself takes a couple of double A's, so fairly standard fare, that's no problem. The pen, however, takes a quadruple A, which are a little bit more unusual, so you might have to shop around to pick one of those up. We'll pop the batteries in, so we're all set to go. Let's check which way around they go, always helps. I must admit, it is a little bit awkward putting the batteries in that section and particularly removing them. Just the design's not ideal. And then we need the pen in here. I already used a marker just to run it down which way around the battery goes. So plus down, negative up. There we are. And of course, in order to make it work, we're gonna need a PDA. So for this sample, we're gonna use an M505. Uh, while we have a look at the Palm version, and then we have a Pocket Look 720 for when we look at the Windows version. So let's get started. So it comes with four separate applications. I popped them all together for ease e address, e date book, e memo, and e to do. Having had a play with all of them, I think we'll start with the eMemo as I think that's the one we're going to use most often. So we load up eMemo, we pop it on the sync pad, and then all we need to do is click eInk. Once you've tapped on eInk, you'll get the battery OK and then simply start writing. Straight away, the image will appear on here, so of course you're free to do whatever you wish, doodles or drawing or writing. It lines up roughly with the lines, that's fine. The other thing that's interesting about this is that you can start a new page. So if we tick new page on here and it'll become a new page. So you can then have as many pages as you have memory for. Once you've done this, tap done, it 
automatically puts it as an e-memo and then the date and time of the memo. You can edit that by going in and editing the ink. And that's how this works. So it's all pretty good. What I will say is on the palm in particular, when you go back into the ink, you have the option of zooming in and then looking around. So if there's a lot of detail, for example, um, you can have a look around and you can see lots of detail. So we'll do one with a drone in a second. It doesn't support four times zoom for some reason. Um, and that's done, good. So we'll do a new one and we'll just put lots of detail in so you can see what I mean. So you might do something with a little bit more detail. As you can see, I'm a professional artist. No question about it. Oh, you might do some technical drawings or you might do some maths puzzles or whatever you're into. But the point is, you can see all the different detail by simply zooming in. There we are, Gary the snail. So we'll hit done and head to that on the ink. And there we are, we've got it there. We can zoom in a little bit and drag around. What you can't do is edit this picture. Okay, and on the Pocket PC you can and we'll come to that shortly. So we'll have a look at the next application. Head back to the home screen. So let's try an e-address. Goodness knows why you'd want to do this, but we've got the e-ink going. So let's see what happens when we draw something. Okay, so it's produced an e-ink drawing and it says we've got to attach it to an address later. So let's do a new address. Ink. There it is, so now we can attach it. That's great. Hit done. There it is. We can see a little icon there, and there's the attachment. So I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but now you know you can. I suspect the others are equally mundane, but let's have a quick look. So, e date book. So we've got the e ink on already, so let's put a note. Uh, Drive to Spain. Not going to, we're still in lockdown. And it says we can attach it to an event. So let's put an event in. Let's say we're gonna go on Saturday. Here we go, new. Let's go at 10 o'clock. Hit ink. Yes, that's the one, we'll attach it. Default title, there we are, and we get a little icon. So when we go in and hit the icon, we get our e-ink. So there we are. I guess you might use it to handwrite instructions for where to get somewhere or draw a little map or whatever, I don't know. Super, last but not least, let's have a look at the e to do. I'm guessing this works the same. So let's write something. not going to do any of that but let's put that in anyway and here we go so let's go oh, I seem to have one in there is that yes it is so this one just automatically puts it in as a need to do very odd but there we are that's how that works super let's have a look at the way it synchronizes so here we are with my trusty Fujitsu Siemens P1610 running Windows XP. We're going to start with SmartPad. This is the application for the Palm. And here we go. So let's have a little look. This is our date note. We're going to drive to Spain, remember. In the application, we can change the thickness of the ink. and We can then print it. We can save it. And we can export it. Save as blah -de blah blah bitmap, save. So there we are, there's the bitmap. Um, you can now um, email that, save it, whatever you're going to do with it. 
Um, unfortunately, if you've got, like we do in our memo, more than one page, you've got to actually um, save each page individually, which is more than a little annoying. Um, so if you did have a big file, you need to go through each page as it is and then save them. So we should now have those two. Yep, sample one and sample two. Lovely, here's the other ones. There's the address one and there's the to do. Um, there's a search function. This will search the text, obviously not pictures. There's a direct email um, attachment so you can send it as an EDF, whatever that is, or a GIF. Um, and obviously there's a print application as well. That's basically it. You can't create new files. You can't edit these. You can't draw on them or anything else. So we'll come out of that. That's all done. Let's have a look at the Pocket PC. So let's take a look at the Pocket PC version. So this is quite different. It comes with a single application, Inknote Manager. Let me just get that in focus for you. Inknote Manager. And this is one application. All your notes, I've put a couple in as samples, can be categorized. So for example, I've put one in personal and three in work. Not only can they be categorized, but you can add a keyword, as it calls it. And this allows you to further categorize. So you can have a category within a category. This could be helpful if you collect a lot of these. I actually think the way this works is very good. So let's have a look at it. Super, I've adjusted the backlight on the pocket look, so hopefully we'll get slightly better contrast. That was a bit difficult before. So we're gonna have a look. We'll start a new one, first of all, so you can see how it works. We don't have multiple different things. There's no e-to-do, e there's no e-calendar, and there's no e-contacts. So, but these effectively work like books of notes, if you like. So we've opened a new one. For some reason it's chosen a massive default zoom, doesn't really matter. And then we just tap the pen and start writing. Fabulous. Now at this point in time, most pocket PCs have gone colour. And so this now supports colour, unlike on the palm. So we can use tools, go to writing properties, we can adjust the colour and the thickness. So we can have a thicker red line. Of course, the pen only writes in black, um, but as you can see, we now get a thicker red line on there. So we'll try another colour. And another thickness. And that cartridge has run out. I'll just change that. Lovely. Good job I had some spares. So we'll do the final colour, uh, the final thickness. Sorry, there's lots more colours. So we'll do a blue and we'll go with number four. Whoops, let's try that again. Go with number four, smash him. There we go. At this point, you can see you need to write pretty big in order for it to make sense. Just like on the palm, we can also have a new page. So here we go, a new page. Let's go back to, well, let's use a different color, but go back to a reasonable thickness. Have a new bit of paper. Started writing too soon, we'll try that again. Oh, it did it anyway, that's interesting. I haven't quite got it lined up with the lines. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And there's one other feature on here that is interesting in terms of when you're writing and drawing, and that is this, you, there's the ability to highlight anything. You can also zoom in at 200 or at 400 percent. So they're the two options. Unfortunately, it's not a slide in zoom scale, which is a shame because that would have been nice. If you tap the arrow button, it lets you select words. So, for example, we'll go back to 200 so we can see what we're doing. But if you put page in and you didn't want it, you can then just clear it, which allows some editing. You can also select an item and move it around on the page. So this is quite useful in terms of editing. Another thing that really sets this apart from the palm is there's actually no need to use the pad. You can use an ordinary stylus. Let me just grab one. 
an ordinary stylus and you can simply write on the screen directly. So this allows you to create notes without having to have the folio case. This is actually quite a powerful piece of note taking software uh, because of the ability to categorize things, change colors, change pen thickness. So actually as a standalone piece of software, I think this is useful to have on your Windows device. On the palm, there's no editing ability at all, so it's not useful in that way, but on it's merely a viewer, if you like, but on here, very much a useful application, even if you don't own the this, this smart pad. So let's have a look at the Pocket PC version. Here we go. So you've got the same layout as we do on the Pocket PC itself, and um, we've got the categories, and then we've got the associated words, uh, so you can categorise a categorization, which is handy for sorting your memos. And um, if we go into one, uh, let's go into one of those we just created. Oh, let's do that sample one. There we are. So here's our sample one. We can see all the different bits and we've got multiple pages and a bit of a, all sorts. As you can see, we've got edit tools up at the top, the same as on the Pocket PC. And this allows us to actually edit things the same as we would on the Pocket PC. So we can delete things. Uh, or we can move them around, we can highlight things, and we can write new memos. Let's do a save, lovely, and then let's export it. Lovely, so we're going to do a bitmap, we're going to do all pages, and we'll hit export, ask us where to save it, we'll stick it on the desktop, and we'll call it M5, lovely. Export successful, let's see how it's done. So it's automatically done both pages, unlike on the Palm version, um, which is a real upgrade. The fact you can edit and then resync them obviously makes this much more powerful and means that your notes will be effectively synced on both computers. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of the Seiko SmartPad. I think it's a very useful thing. You can um, obviously it allows you to take notes and keep an electronic copy so you can give the hard copy to clients or whatever you might need to do. It looks very smart. So I think all around that's pretty good. Um, I've got to say the software for the Palm, not great. It's lacking a number of features. While you can view them on the Palm, you can't edit them. Uh, just, you know, could be much better. There'll be a review of this coming up. Um, on the Pocket PC, however, I've got to say, this is a great piece of software. I think it's very useful for keeping notes and memos, really good as a jot pad. And because of the multiple pages, and multiple books and multiple categories, it allows you to keep a lot of notes, very well organized and very easy to find and keep. Unlike the built-in note manager, which is very frustrating because it looks through all the folders in the, part, in the um, uh, operating system to decide which ones you want to look at. I mean, a bit ridiculous. So very useful, I think. And um, there'll be a review of this coming up. This is a Pocket Look 720, um, and I would say it's a, a, a very powerful Pocket PC. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe um, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. If you have any comments, please list them below. I've put a link to the software that we used, um, both um, the Palm and the um, uh, Pocket PC software will work with Windows 10 quite easily. For the Pocket PC, you just need to set up where your files are synchronized. For the Palm, it, it just works. I've put a link um, in the description to the uh, Windows 10 connection video for um, Pocket PC. There'll be one coming up for the Palm shortly. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye for now.